Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Wayne here, and today we're back in the city of Las Vegas about to go on another food adventure. And today, the place we're going to is a ramen place. Yes, ramen. They actually have ramen in Vegas. Actually, Vegas has a whole bunch of ramen spots, but the one we're going to is the one located on the Vegas Strip. I think there's only one ramen spot in the entire Vegas Strip, and it's called Ramen Ya. And it's supposed to be a pretty decent ramen for what it is. I think there is sister branch to some other popular chain or restaurant in california so they have pretty good reviews and that i'm very excited to try out so with that being said uh let's go to ramen and have some ramen well let's go get something to eat So after it comes to ramen, I have to say the entire place is actually fairly small. It's not that big. There's not a lot of seating in here, but it does look quite nice. Inside is very vibrant, very bright, very clean. Staff is super friendly. But once you come inside, you get a pick where you sit. And I sat at this two-person seat. And you'll notice that on the table there already is a menu. And the menu, as you can see, has so many different items. As you can see, this side is a ramen side. And you got so many different ramen choices. You got the chashu ramen, ramen fried chicken, beef ramen, vegetable ramen curry ramen and so much more all which looks absolutely delicious then on the back side you got your rice bowls and appetizers and drinks and so much more so it just, it just sounds like a very good time so me and me as i go to ramen places all the time i already know what i'm gonna get so for the ramen i'm gonna get the spicy miso ramen because i just love spicy miso and i just have to have it and alongside that we're also going to get the karage because you know every ramen restaurant has some karage for you to try so we're going to try that out and with that being said, I think that's basically it. So I'm gonna place the order and be right back. All right guys, so chicken karage just came in. I have to say, it looks absolutely delicious. There's five pieces that's fried to perfection. As you can see, it looks so, so beautiful. Oh man. They also paired up with some spicy mayonnaise or spicy sriracha sauce. I don't remember, you know, but it's some type of spicy sauce. Either way, it looks so, so good. So with that being said, let's just dig on in while it's hot. And as you can see, we're gonna grab a piece. And look at how big this piece is. They have five pieces of fried chicken and these pieces are humongous. Like, look at this. Size is like the size of my palm. These are gigantic pieces of fried chicken. Oh man. Anyway, let's give it a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, look at this chicken. It is so soft, so tender, so juicy, so moist. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that was so good. Plus the batter itself, not too much batter. Just light enough batter which is a little bit crispy, a little bit crunchy. It makes the entire bite so, so delicious. Oh, wow. This is good. But anyway, let's try it with a spicy dipping sauce, shall we? Just dip a little in here and got some spicy mayo and take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Um, I'm so happy. It just tastes so good. The spicy mayo adds a whole nother richness and depth to the whole food. Like, it's light, rich, and creamy. Not too spicy, just a little bit of spice which tingles the back of the throat, but very, very delicious. Pair that up with the chicken, oh my lord. Match made in heaven. Mmm. Oh. Best of all is that the chicken literally needs no force necessary. The minute you bite into it, it already starts pulling apart. That's how soft it is. Like, watch this. Literally just breaks apart like nothing. Mm. Oh, absolutely incredible. Just remember though, you always have to dip it in the spicy sauce because the spicy sauce is what makes it to a whole new level. I mean, chicken by itself is very good, but once you add the spicy sauce, oh, fantastic. So spicy miso ramen just came out. I have to say it looks absolutely delicious. Oh man, this is a big, pretty hearty bowl. It's a decent size. I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller, but this is a good size bowl. Hey, with that being said, it smells absolutely delicious. So I, I'm looking on the inside, there's ramen, there's some vegetables, there's two pieces of chashu, and also an egg, all of which looks so, so good. But with that being said, let's just give it a try. Let's try the noodles out. Oh man, this is piping hot. You can see all the steam just floating up. Oh, but we'll give it a try. Mommy, 
Oh, that's actually really good. Noodles themselves cooked to perfect al dente. Nice, bouncy, has some pull to it overall. Very good noodles. Broth itself very flavorful. It's a little bit spicy, not too spicy, just enough to you know, like ting tinker on the back of your throat. Overall, not bad. Miso soup, you know, not too oily, rich, depth, had a lot of flavor overall. I am pretty happy so far. This is a nice bowl of ramen. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, I can see why so many people are coming here because this, this ramen is good. Let's try to chop you. Grab a little bit. Oh no, it's broke apart. Uh, let me see. As you can see, chashu kind of broke apart, but this, the chashu over here is the, the only thing I don't like about this chashu is it's super thin. Normally, when you go to other uh, ramen restaurants, the chashu is super big, very thick cut, but this is very thin slices of chashu, but they do give you two pieces, so I think it's pretty generous, you know? What does that mean? So let's try it out. Not bad. Not a bad chashu. Seasoned well, very flavorful. Very fatty, very oily, very delicious, rich in flavor, absolutely delicious. Mmm. Like, I mean, just look at this. So, so good. Hi. Doing here, We're doing perfect. I'm so sorry. All good. I mean, Not all good. But this is absolutely delicious. Wow. They make a good chai too. It's just, it's so thin and breaks apart so easily though. <laughs> wish, wish that they have, but it's still pretty good. Mmm. Oh. That's tasty. That's some good chai too. Mm. Now the only thing I don't like about this ramen place is the egg. As you can see, oh no, the egg broke apart. But it's a hard-boiled egg. Like the egg is literally hard-boiled for so long. I don't even know how long they cooked it for. But like normally, if I go to a ramen restaurant, I like my eggs to be soft-boiled, where the yolk is still liquidy and oozing. That is the best type of egg. But over here, the egg is the hard-boiled egg. So you know, nothing really we can do about it. But let's see how it tastes. Just the egg. I don't think it's a seasoned egg either. It just feels like a regular hard-boiled egg. I mean, I don't see much color to it, and it's just, eh, it's just a regular egg. Either way, I'm not here for the egg. I'm here for the ramen. The ramen is absolutely fantastic. Like, if you guys are ever in the Vegas area and looking for a cheap and affordable ramen that's on the strip, definitely consider going to Ramen Young, because this is one of the, I think, actually, I think this is the only ramen restaurant in the Vegas strip, and it's very cheap and affordable too. So if you're looking for something cheap to eat and not to break the bank, this is a spot to go to. Mm. Mm. Not bad, not bad at all, wow. I'm actually enjoying my time here, like, you know, I have my expectations really low because normally I figured if it's on the Vegas Strip, it's probably not going to be that good for ramen spot, but I was totally wrong. Once I actually tried this ramen, it's not bad, it's actually pretty decent. The ramen is good, the broth is excellent, the broth is literally fantastic. Chashu cooked super nice. It's just a little bit too thin though. If it was thicker, way better, but still absolutely phenomenal. The only thing I don't like about this ramen is the egg because they hard boiled it. But other than that, everything else was really, really good. Like very tasty. I think you all really enjoy it. That's some good ramen. And not only that, I also got a ram ramenade too. This is the melon one. So I wanted the melon cream soda, but they apparently sold out. It's okay. But anyway, we'll try the melon ramen. Pop this in. Pop. And let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that makes the meal complete. Oh, I love ramenade and this melon flavor, my favorite. I absolutely love it. Mm. Oh, that's good. But with that being said, my experience at ramen is actually a pretty good one. Like overall, I have no complaints besides the egg, but everything else was really good. The place is packed though, so if you want to come, do come early or come during a late lunch or something because it, it, it will be very full. But other than that, fantastic place if you're looking for a cheap place to eat this is definitely one of the places to go to you will definitely enjoy it oh man i am absolutely stuffed overall i have to say my experience at ramen yang was actually uh it was decent for what it is you know it wasn't the best ramen i ever had but definitely wasn't the worst by far it's a pretty okay spot i mean everything about it you know it just works well the karage super delicious very juicy very tender nice crispy corn outside perfectly fried chicken then you got the ramen itself which was pretty decent as well Broth especially was super, 
oh that broth was so good noodles were nice vegetables were okay the only thing i didn't like about the ramen was the egg you know normally i like my eggs to be soft boiled where the yolk is still nice and runny but over here the egg is a hard boiled egg so that's the only thing i didn't like but everything else you know it was pretty good plus the price point was really fair so with that being said if you guys are ever on the las vegas area or in the strip and we're just looking for some good decent quality ramen definitely go to ramen y'all it's a very good place and highly worth it it might not be the best but it'll definitely fix your ramen cravings so with that being said that's basically the video hope you guys enjoyed watching this i had a lot of fun filming this if you want to see more content like this please be sure to like comment share this video to all your friends and family and also please be sure to subscribe to my channel because you know i'm a small youtuber any support does go a long way so that's basically it i'll see you later